Greetings! I'm Meadows. And I'm Ben. And a hi diddly D. I've got no strings on me. That's disgusting. So give a little whistle and wish upon a star, because our second Disney animated movie reaction is gonna take us far. That was really bad. <laughs> We're watching Pinocchio, guys. <laughs> what do you know about the film? There's a puppet. Well, first of all, have you seen Pinocchio? Puppet? Are you questioning whether he's a puppet? Yeah, he's a puppet. Oh dear. In my house, thinking like a hand puppet, but he's like a. I got no strings. What's that called? A string puppet. A marionette. Puppets? What's that kind of... <laughs> like a board. I mean, already we're being hit up with an ultimate classic. This is basically the theme tune for the whole Disney company. Yeah. Oh, Jiminy Cricket singing it. Yes. Your dreams come. It's a big old cricket with a beautiful voice. How's he gonna pick that up? As I stood there warming my myself, I took a look around. <laughs> Why is he warming up his butt? When you're cold, you know, it's the first thing you want to warm up, right? Get those cheekies warm. And then something else caught my eye. A puppet. There he is. You know, one of those marionette things. All strings and joints. That cat was as small as the little pot. It's a small cat, what can I say? <laughs> you never seen a baby cat? Like the same size as this. Little cat. Yeah, little kitten. One day old. No, bro. <laughs> now I have just a name for you. Pinocchio. We're like five minutes into the movie and... Uh... Nothing's happened. Wow. That's creepy. Oh, it's going to be proper scary, isn't it? You could definitely re-edit this to be a horror film. 100%. What is happening? What do you mean? He's, he's made a puppet and he's playing with his puppet. He's a grown man. I'm sorry. Do you get to a certain age you're not allowed to have fun anymore? Do you think playing with puppets is fun? They ain't got Netflix. They ain't got computer games. What do you expect him to do? Just sit there and twiddle his phones? Like... It's a small one. This movie's obsessed with butts. <laughs> Fun fact, all the wooden clocks and the little wooden things in Geppetto's workshop, they made in real life. They made them? Yeah. They what? made them just to check, you know, they worked. It's a very realistic film. She's a little player, that one. She's a little flirt. Kind of fit for a fish, though, still. Oh, Figaro. I forgot to open the window. Get out of bed yourself, you lazy bum. <laughs> now what's up? Now what's up, mother... No. No. It's a fairy tale, no. isn't it? Hey! What are you saying no to? It's a person? <laughs> Wait, what? As I live and breathe, a fairy. It's a fairy. It's the blue fairy. Good Geppetto. You have given so much happiness to others. You deserve to have your wish come true. There you go, there's the reason. That's why you're not getting your wishes come true, mate. <laughs> I've given you life. Why? Because tonight, Geppetto wished for a real boy. That animation is terrible. Have you ever heard of rotoscoping? No, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me. I mean, try and act a little bit interested in it. <laughs> So certain characters in this are really cartoony, like Geppetto, sure. and other ones look more real, like the Blue Fairy. Right. So for the ones like the Blue Fairy, they got an actual actress to come in, right. film the scenes, and they drew over those scenes right. to try and make it look as real and as fluid as possible. Mm. What's interesting is you picked up on that and just went, mm. well, that's terrible. <laughs> but it does, it makes it look a little bit more creepy oh, in, my, right. yeah. in my, because it's like you're trying to make it real, but we're in this like cartoon setting. And that's why Snow White and the Prince looked a little bit funky. Creepy. But also fun fact, the character model for Blue Fairy is also the same lady who is in Columbia Pictures. 
Oh wow! Who holds the thing? Fun fact. She's dead now, right? Prove yourself brave. I mean, probably. <laughs> I'm guessing everyone yeah, who worked on this film is, is dead. I dub you Pinocchio's conscience, Lord High Keeper of the knowledge of right and wrong. Eddie's is not that deep. <laughs> You're saying somebody, so things that make you human are like having a conscience, making choices. Yeah. But now she's taken that away from him. No, no, no. She's given someone to guide him. Nah, she said you are the conscience. To help guide him in making choices between right and wrong. He Wait, doesn't know do what's you right have someone wrong. to guide you? Yeah, I have my parents, bro. Well, he's got uh, Geppetto. Would you trust that man? <laughs> well, we'll see. You mean maybe a will? I shouldn't wonder. Make it a gold one? Maybe. <laughs> Not bad, says I. Oh yeah, <laughs> almost forgot about you. Self-centered much? It's been 30 seconds. <laughs> but uh, even though the right things may seem wrong sometimes, uh, sometimes the, the wrong things <laughs> may be right at the wrong time or uh, vice versa. He's terrible. <laughs> He's got one job. He can't even form a sentence. Yes, yeah, so he didn't really do a good interview to find out who was going to be a good conscience. He just flew in an umbrella. Dumb. This is the first lesson you're going to teach him, how to whistle. To be a man, to be a real boy, you need to be able to whistle. Can you whistle? I can whistle. Oh, go on then. Why? To prove you're a real boy. <laughs> Are you trying? Come on now, let's sing it. When you get in trouble. Come on, Charleston. Who's there? It's me. Me. That's funny. <laughs> did he light the match off his bum? Or did he pull it out and it's already lit? <laughs> when he was sat down, so, I don't like this movie. You're so really serious like about this, oh my <laughs> gosh. Your face, you look mad. Mind if I cut in? How about sitting out the next one, babe, huh? It's a horny little crick, isn't it? Look! Ready! Oh! Babe! Here it is, I got it, here's water! Here's some water! He's terrible. Too many cricket is terrible. Go to sleep. Why? <laughs> End of the first scene. First scene. The first scene was 25 minutes. You enjoying it? Don't look like I'm enjoying it. <laughs> no, you look like you're hating on live. It's just, I feel like the story's just very fluff. They're just fluffing it out a lot. You know what I mean? So we've got an hour now of plot. If I don't get an hour of solid plot, I want highs and lows. Oh, I feel like you'll get them. Oh, this shot is great. What's this, Hunchback? I'm not sure, Don. Hunchback didn't invent bells. <laughs> Wait a second, is he going to be grown up, going to school? This is not where I thought the movie was going. How is the cat the same size? This is the next morning. Oh, it's the next morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. For someone so shaky, how is he making things oh. in a craft shop? He's using, like, hammer and chisel and saws. He painted, like, whoop. Surely he'd be like... <laughs> Pinocchio should have a smile, like, <laughs> crooked. <laughs> Bye, son. Hurry back. He's just gonna send him straight off to school. He just saw him put his hand in fire. And he's gonna be like, go on, off you go. What I don't understand is what is so busy in your day, Geppetto, that you can't walk your own son to school? Yeah, that's true. What would this stupid world be without... <laughs> Where are they extracting these matches from? A little wooden boy. <laughs> now, who A wooden boy! <laughs> Look at him. I like these two. Fame! Fame? Yes! Eyebrows, eyebrows. Profile, that physique. Obsessed with butts. Wasting precious time. Come on to the theater. I did the thing. Oh yeah, yeah this one. Like for me. Do you remember this song from our Villains Songs tier list? I do. Let us know in the comments who's your favorite character and what's your favorite song from Pinocchio. I'm conscious. I turned out to be late the first day. Bro. I've honestly never realised how bad Jiminy Cricket is before. <laughs> He's doing a terrible job. Nothing up there to be afraid of. Oh, 
Oh. So Gideon just tried to hit Jiminy Cricket with a big mallet. And that's funny because in the original story, Pinocchio kills Jiminy Cricket with a mallet. Damn. I mean, the way Jiminy Cricket's going at the moment. It's terrible. Maybe he deserves it. No one deserves that. But maybe. Oh, Pinocchio! Big summer blowout. I run and tell his father. No, no, that'd be snitchy. I'll go after him myself. Exactly, snitches get stitches, bro. The only marionette who can sing and dance. Whatever, <laughs> And maybe you'll listen to your conscience. Pinocchio is one day old. Jiminy Cricket's like, oh, you deserve this. <laughs> Damn, Jiminy. He's not good, guys. Cut the kids some slack. Jiminy is not good. <laughs> I've got steams, but I'll you. I'd cut my steams for you. I'd cut my strings for her. That puppet would get it. There are no strings on me. <laughs> That's a big tune. Yeah, it's good. Well, I guess he won't need me anymore. Bro. What does an actor want with a conscience anyway? He's not a good conscience. Monte Carlo, Constantinople. Oh my god. No, gosh. no. That yes. was a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at her butt. You will be good firewood. <laughs> Shut him up! Before I knock you silly! <laughs> what a day he's having. Honestly, imagine that being your first day on Earth. Why has the fairy not come back and been like, Yo, what's going on? You had one job. You need a conscience as the conscience. Maybe he'll get a conscience. So it'd be like a vicious chain. Yeah. Like Russian like dolls. He'll be getting smaller and smaller. He'll have a flea. Terrible dad. Honestly, social services, where are you? Bingo! Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb. Shout it again. Like, come on. The, the universe has been on his side this whole time. And he goes to see Pinocchio in a bunch of bowl. Mate, the stars like Geppetto. The stars are on his side. The clouds, however, the clouds hate him. That was great. Pinocchio! Whoa. Tell her! You might tell her the truth! Present the butt. Well, uh, this is a pleasant surprise. I get so emotional, baby! Pinocchio, why didn't you go to school? I was going to school till I met somebody with big green eyes. She's savage. She put some sort of curse on him. It's all to help. It's to help. How did you escape? I didn't. They chopped me in a firewood. <laughs> Wait, what? The birds at the end was unnecessary. <laughs> like, are we just creating life Life, now? yeah, he can create life. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. Come She's on. Right With the come. messages. A lie, what, what was that? That was great. A lie will grow and grow until it's plain as the nose on your face. Damn. Toodaloo, Stromboli. Goodbye, Mr. Stromboli. Shh, quiet. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Pinocchio is great. Yeah, it's a good character. Yeah. <laughs> but the only noises that character makes are hiccups. And the voice is... What's the hiccup? Mel Blanc. Who's that? So Mel Blanc voiced Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, Foghorn Leghorn, like pretty much all of the Looney Tunes. Which is after this. No, like around the same time. And all they got him doing was hiccups. But originally he was meant to speak. That's right. They recorded all the dialogue and in the end they thought it would be funnier if it was like dopey and he just didn't speak. But the only bits they kept were his hiccups. That's rude. It is kind of rude because the man is honestly a legend, legend. and this is the only Disney character you ever voiced. And did Stromboli pay? Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this new villain that we're meeting just now is- That's a new villain. The coachman, the guy they're talking to. He, in this scene, pulls a face. And when I tell you, I hate it. 
I hate the face you pause. Why? When you see, you will just know. I'm collecting stupid little boys. He looks like a character from Guess Who. Yes, he looks like <laughs> Bill or something like that. Does he have <laughs> a big round nose? <laughs> and I take him to Pleasure Island. I just want to say, all that we've heard of his plan is that he's looking for stupid little boys and to take to treasure. Pleasure Island. Pleasure, treasure. Pleasure Island. No comment. They never come back as boys. That's the face. <laughs> I got shivers. I told you, I hate that face. I got goosebumps. Damn. But like R.L. Stein. Why don't they come back as boys? What's he gonna do to them? We can be those eyebrows for doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kids' movie, then. Just We've gone from ah oh, fairy. This is your conscience. This little cricket to some pedophile with. I can't say Peter Fowler. I mean, some man with some weird intentions for boys. Is that what we're meant to read between the lines, though? Don't be reading between our lines. As in, like, we're learning messages, right? We're learning do not lie. We're learning listen to your conscience. We're learning if some strange man says he's going to take you to Pleasure Stupid Island. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Race your home. Look after your boy. Now make it fun. Race you home. Well, well. No Can't deal with this guy. I gotta be Jiminy home. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> So deadpan. Bless my soul. Hulk was on a roll. <laughs> Good one. Ooh. My goodness! A palpitating syncopation of the killer dilla with a wicky wacky stabbing of the Floyd Joy. A wicky wacky stabbing of the Floyd Joy. What is confusing is Figaro and Cleo, why are they like pets? Yeah, but, but yeah. then Jiminy and these two are like wearing clothes and stuff. Oh, well, I guess it's. Yeah. Also, when Jiminy was just by that lamp in the previous scene, there was like some other moths and stuff, and he was shooing them away like they yeah, were moths. Yeah, yeah, Surely they're his pals, no? It's cars, They it? should be like a little yeah, gang yeah. of moths, like, hey, yo, this is my turf, get off my <laughs> yeah, turf. Yeah, beat it. <laughs> well, every day's a holiday. Come on, Legs. Lovely loops. But I can't go. I fly him. Of course you can go. Where is Jiminy Cricket? He's racing him home. <sighs> Roller coasters? No, I mean. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'd be going there. And let's get rid of that clown. Yeah, yeah. the clown is groovy. Clown is go. What I don't understand is when were clowns not nice. creepy? Yeah, good Like, in my mind, clowns have always been creepy, but surely there was a time in entertainment where clowns, clowns were the were. one. Yeah, maybe like 1800s. Specifically. I'm not gonna lie, this would be quite a cool little place. Just smash the joint up. Get a load of that stained glass window. <laughs> I love that he knew that it was a stained glass window. I feel like if you were really stupid, you wouldn't be like, go look at that stained glass window. I mean, that's You'd not that like, specific. Stained glass. Come on. Think of the like most stupidest boy at school. I'm trying to remember what you were like at school. Ah. <laughs> hey, where are you? Honestly, the worst cricket ever. Well, to be fair to him, probably the best cricket ever. <laughs> the worst conscience ever. Where do you suppose all the kids went to, Lampwick? <laughs> Where is the Okay, you'll do. In you go. He turned the people into donkeys. And what might your name be? Alexander. Wait, what? What kind of magician? What's he think I look like? A jackass? They don't come back as boys. They come back as ass. Oh, oh, you're, you're still keeping it as like the paedophile thing. Yeah. I ain't going that in my video. <laughs> oh, seven years bad luck. <gasps> oh no. Plot twist, right? How? See Donkey from Shrek. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is his backstory? Like he got taken to Pleasure Island, uh, giggity goo, and got turned into a donkey? Could be. Makes sense. Connections. Be back on dry land. I get so in motion! Come on! Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. 
<laughs> Imagine if the film now went, you've been invited to Hogwarts. And then he gets to Hogwarts and finds out that Geppetto is actually Dumbledore. And he's like, pet frog. Pet frog? I'm sorry, I ruined it. He's alive. Alive? Where? Why, uh, uh, inside the whale, at the, at the bottom of the sea. I like the fact that the last two times they were in trouble, the blue fairy came down to help them. This time she's like, these guys. Dead. Right, give me, give me a pigeon. I made a mistake. Right, <laughs> let me write a little thing, go. Is he actually in a whale? What about this film makes you think he wouldn't be in a whale? How's he got into a whale? He's been looking for Pinocchio. Why is he in the ocean? He doesn't know where Pinocchio is. And there just happens to be a whale. In the ocean? Bro, when's the last time you saw a whale? When's the last time I went in the ocean? <laughs> like... like last year? Yeah, but that's that sure, like... But that, like, when's the last time I went in the ocean? No, I went to a beach last year. And you didn't go into the sea? There was no whales at the beach. Exactly my point, so why is he just seeing whales? He didn't go to the beach, he went out into the ocean where the whales are. So ocean and sea, not the same thing? No, as in the ocean and the beach are not the same thing, right? So when does the beach become the ocean? When you go out. Pride Rock. <gasps> Deception. <coughs> Bless me. I said, bless me. He can breathe underwater. I don't think he breathes. He's made of wood. I, I, I don't think I don't think Geppetto carved out lungs for him. Do you know what I mean? I thought he was a real boy. No, he's this. The whole film is him trying to become a real boy. But what makes him not a real boy? He made a wood. You tell me where we can find monster. <laughs> And that water effect, that's good. Yeah, that's cool. Come on, Pokemon. They're called seahorses, bro. <laughs> nah, that's not a real thing. Do you know fun facts about seahorses? They're not real. The men give birth. Oh yeah, I did know that. I actually did know that. Well, Ursula at the bottom, what's she do? Oh no. He ate the ship. The whale ate the ship. Ate the whole boat. And someone... Chupetto <laughs> has his little wooden head. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. Maybe getting out the belly of the whale should matter. Well, it's about time! Well, <laughs> it's about time. We made it! Oh, he's turning round. He's turning round. Got a vendetta. What? That animation was excellent. Oh, Pinocchio! Pinocchio! <laughs> Pinocchio! Oh! Awake, Pinocchio. Awake. <laughs> Is that not how you wake I up every morning? Fabulous! <laughs> I used to hate how Pinocchio looks as a boy. Really? Why? It's the same as like when the beast turns into a man. It's like you're so used to the character seeing them the whole film one way, so then they transform. You're like, it looks the same, no? I don't know. He just looks a little bit creepy to me. I'm a real boy. <laughs> well, I'll be. <laughs> he does not deserve that badge. If you remove Jiminy Cricket from the movie, do you get the exact same movie? Disney animated classic number two completed. What are your final thoughts? Too much happens in my opinion. Okay, after 25 minutes you said not enough has happened. <laughs> so pick a struggle please. Yeah, I feel like I would care more about the villains if there was just like, I don't know, three or two. Five is a lot. Five is a lot. But it's quite cool that it is a little bit different to other sort of stories. Sure. Next week is Fantasia. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Toodles.